so um you know what Taurus let's begin let's see what's coming your way in love and what are we um you know supposed to expect here card wanting to come out it is um the prince of prince of cups this is a page of cups pisces cancer scorpio maybe you are dealing with a water sign and they wanted to come through that's all right this also is the energy of apology as of a cup of love it is in reverse which can mean delays right and not having what you want on your timetable but it is in the works right because the energy is here so taurus bottom of the deck the justice libra energy so some justice in love is coming your way right some balance and an important decision about love coming your way and this is also an energy of whatever emotions were out of balance they are going back into right balance now, Doros, you know my love readings by now, right? Past energies for you and the person you are dealing with, current energies, and then the possible outcome for the month of January. So, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies in the past. Let's see, current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies and the possible outcome is you always have free will and you always have to use your better judgment and we have on your side the person you are dealing with and you get three four mutual energies bottom of the deck ace of swords i love this communication and a decision of some sort I don't know if somebody is getting a divorce here. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> but things will be made right and you'll have communication about it. Again, Libra Energy and Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Now, um, <clears throat> Taurus in the past, um, on your side, and again, you can switch energies, right? Whatever you resonate the most, that's where you need to kind of place yourself um we do have seven of cups in reverse and we have the lovers in reverse so some clarity came to your mind and it's a clarity of uh, love is no longer there <clears throat> because the lovers is in reverse and then a decision was supposed to be made and it was not made because the lovers is in reverse again can be gemini energy <clears throat> but i feel it's more about um something that uh, kind of it took you a while to understand and then um you know when uh, time came to make a decision maybe it was a difficult one maybe we'll see with the other energies maybe it is the person you are dealing with um <clears throat> they've made a decision that was kind of difficult for you um you know to have in a way the person you are dealing with um, in the past, they have the Magician in reverse and the Five of Wands in reverse. We have a little bit of a trickster over here. Uh, maybe somebody manipulated their ways into something. Um, and with the Five of Wands in reverse, I feel that uh, they were conflicted. That's the energy, right? So they, they did their best to manipulate the situation because of their internal conflict. Maybe that they were a little bit confused. Maybe they were lacking confidence. We know the Magician in Reverse is a card of um, not having the tools or at least believing uh, that they don't have the tools to deal with the situation. And again, this Five of Wands, I don't know if, um, again, the conflict might have been um, internal, might have been with you, but this is an energy of, um, you know, confusion, fighting for something. 
um, saying something that maybe was not, um, you know, fully appropriate, um, manipulating their way uh, towards something, and that something seems to seems to be out of, um, coming out of a conflict of some sort, you know. Probably they they lie to you somehow. That is an energy of lying here and not telling the truth. And um, it's not that they didn't want to, but they didn't know how to um, deal with the situation, right? Energies between the two of you in the past, Ace of Swords in reverse and the Page of Wands in reverse. Both are cards of communication. Both are exchanges of some sort. And um, again, it was not there. Uh, Taurus or the communication was maybe uh, poor. Um, you know, the spark was there. There was a form of spark. There was a form of beginning of something. But then it was not spoken. And maybe somebody was manipulated out of this love, you know. The lovers in reverse is also an energy of this love never really took off 100% for many reasons. For lack of confidence, poor communication, misunderstandings, confusion. Seven of Cups here, right? Seven of Cups is a card of illusion, confusion. It's in reverse. So at some point, some, some clarity came to mind. And uh, you understood something about this. But it does look like something that ne never really was, uh, you know, in full bloom, kind of. Energies right now on your side, Taurus, we do have the Ten of Swords at the Judgment. Some decision hurts, or a decision hurts, right? Um, that was, um, you know, uh, something that you said yes to, or that was something that you might have um, decided to do. And now it does look like uh, backfiring. For some of you, it might be a piece of advice. If you feel like doing something, just remember how bad it hurt. And let's use our better judgment here. You know, let's stay put a little bit and kind of enable the universe to show you signs that this is, um, you know, the, um, the way to go for some of you. Um, and it, it's, um, it's a little bit painful. Right, Ten of Swords is upright, so the so the kind of the pain is still raw in this situation, and it's kind of complicated, you know, um, in a way. It will get easier, but um, with the Justice and the Ace of Swords, you'll know what you're supposed to know. You know, that's the point. That's the energy here. You'll know what you're supposed to know um, to kind of um, be reborn from whatever uh, keeps you on your knees right now because you have a lot of pain we have you really plied into because of the pain uh Taurus, they feel sorry for what they did um right now as we speak because we have in current energies in their current energies the five of cups mourning the loss of something finally realizing what they did and we have um your, in, your energy right the page of pentacles <clears throat> this is also uh, being regretful for not saying yes and not taking uh, the offer that you gave this person. Um, they are working towards some emotional balance of some sort, but still they are in an energy of loss, of regret, of mourning, um, you know, empty cups and trying to figure out a way um, to make an offer too, because we do have again Page of Pentacles. This is an offer. A small one this is starting slow um, <clears throat> but they are still in the process of you know dealing with emotions trying to understand I believe Taurus you are dealing with somebody who uh, lacks confidence a lot and they might be fighting themselves over decisions of some sort you know and they might have um, you know just come out from uh, we saw a marriage card in reverse, so maybe somebody is coming out of a relationship of some sort, commitment of some sort, and they are still trying to figure out. And they've hurt you, that's for sure, in the past. And they know this is an energy of knowing exactly and, and now kind of trying to see how they can change the situation. Mid isn't interesting, Taurus. Mutual energy is between the two of you. Four of Pentacles, a lot of self-protection and self-care and being guarded and maybe not talking um, <clears throat> much about it. 
But at least we are um, Eight of Swords in reverse. We are releasing mental prison, both of you. I believe you are caged um, in some way, but for different reasons. You because of the pain and because of the clarity of what this was. And maybe this is what hurts you a bit, a bit more. And they are releasing more, um, you know, energies of regret, energies of um, low vibe energies, kind of with um the eight of swords in reverse but it's good because it speaks of eight of swords speaks of pessimism of thinking that this is not possible you know that kind of energy and they are changing their um i would say vision about and i also believe you are changing something but still being very cautious about it i do believe that is no communication that is this energy of no communication so far in the reading and and an energy of, I'm going to take care of myself first, you know, or I'm going to bring myself back in balance first, and then we will see. And on your side, I'm sorry to say, Taurus, but that um, the pain is on your side, so they've made a mess of it over there. They've made a mess. Um, January, we have your energy, Taurus, the Hierophant in reverse, and the Sun in reverse. So we are moving away from unhappiness we are moving away from lies um and um you know unhappy low vibe in the dark uh the sun in reverse is kind of like the moon upright and we have your energy in reverse so we are moving away it's a process right and january will have to be all about perseverance and um you know walking the walk the walk towards um healing because the sun is all is also um, healing, truth, awakening, and awareness and illumination. It is in reverse, so it's me. It means the process is in place, and uh, you'll have to go back to being yourself here. We have you upside down, right? And it's a process, and, and it's going well. Now, um, Taurus, the person you are dealing with, they have the Ten of Cups in reverse and the Three of Cups upright. Um, so they are not happy till they don't get a reconciliation here. We do have the Three of Cups. Um, somebody wants to talk to you about making things right again. And I believe January for them, it's an aha moment and an awakening moment. They are not happy till they don't get you back. That's reunion, reconciliation. Um, being on speaking terms going out again that's the energy of the three of cups and ten of cups in reverse it's i'll be fully unhappy if i don't get that and um a lot of cups so they are very emotional again can be the energy of a water sign we had page of cups as the first energy out uh, so you might be dealing with a, a pisces cancer scorpio and, and you no know, they are working on their emotions they are working on their obstacles um it's interesting that it's an energy of blindness and I, I and I kind of believe both of you for some reason you are kind of blindfolded in this you know I would love to say that was a lot of passion I'm not really seeing so maybe it's a connection that you know um, maybe you disconnect a, a while ago and that's how we don't get uh, the passion but we do get the um, the pain and the obstacles and the emotional imbalance because of a separation of some sort, because of distance, because of unsaid uh, things, you know. And I do have, um, I do love their energy in, in January, right? Three of Cups. Wanting a reunion and not stopping till they don't get one. Mutual energies between the two of you. Seven of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. I just love this because... This is your energy. So between the two of you, of course, uh, your energy is all over them and you stay strong and grounded and, um, you know, walking, walking towards the light over here. We have the seven of pentacles waiting for the harvest, knowing that you have invested and it will come your way. And the queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of you might be a fire sign standing between you and your person. Um, but mainly when we look at their energy, right? And when we look at the overall energy, communication and balance and decisions, I tend to believe that passion will be brought back. 
most certainly passion will be brought back after a period of waiting um i mean kind of like the harvest time right between the two of you it's the harvest time in january um and i know um Taurus, because we have you on on your side we have you a little bit unhappy and even january is a period of being a little bit upside down here i don't know um how you're gonna see this or how you see this honestly um you know some food for thought there because um you know they seem to know what they want and on your side we are really focusing on ourselves how to get back in spiritual shape staying in the sun staying in the light staying true to yourself that's exactly the energy here right of staying true to yourself it's a process again because the energies are, are in reverse we are working um right we are going towards it's an ascension of some sort you know so it's a beautiful energy on your side so but they are ready for you when i look at these energies they are ready for you the regrets uh the regret card is in reverse magician is in reverse it's like you know lacking confidence but doing the work towards emotional balance and reconciliation so uh they want to make it right, Doros. They want to make it right. He or she, whoever you are dealing with, um, that is an energy of communication to make things right. Now let's ask for some guidance here. Let's see what we are supposed to do with this. And we have surrender, low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnant remnant of low self-esteem oh yeah speaking of the process speaking of working towards the sun and the light and being yourself and coming into your own that's exactly the energy we are picking up for january on your side surrender your belief in scarcity are you afraid of money that you don't have enough Doros? what's going on the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Beautiful. Right? Have confidence. Both, both of the energies are actually saying, have confidence in yourself and have confidence you'll have abundance. Don't live in fear, you know? And let's see about this love. Let's have some guidance about this love. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So passion is coming away. They will come back passionately, actually. And you just got your green light. And we have separation. What's going on? Time apart for your partner is on the horizon. <coughs> So am I picking up the energy of a Taurus in love with one person and connected to somebody else? Might be because we have here heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So I don't know what separation needs to happen so that a passion can, um, can be enabled or had, right? What do you think, Taurus? In terms of zodiac signs, um, we have Libra, we have a lot of water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, we have Gemini, Taurus like yourself, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we do have fire signs, and, uh, and that's about it, right? Um, so, Taurus, this is all that I have for you guys. Of course, please let me know what you think. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.